I also want to reaffirm my commitment to the H-1B visa program and to increase the current cap. Foreign skilled workers contribute greatly to our U.S. technological development. That's well understood in Silicon Valley, where more than a quarter of highly skilled professionals are immigrants. Entertainment giant Walt Disney has laid off 250 employees at Disney World Orlando. The employees who were laid off belonged to the technical department and took care of the vast data systems operation. Per a New York Times report, these positions were then filled with Indian H-1B workers. In fact, the laid off employees were asked to train their replacements over a span of three months. In 2014, Southern California Edison laid off 540 employees and hired two Indian outsourcing firms for the work. Fawcett in Texas laid off 100 employees and transferred the work to Infosys. It has raised questions about the H-1B visa program. Critics say that H-1B visas are being abused to bring in cheap foreign replacement. Each year, 85,000 H-1B visas are granted and a major chunk of them go to Indian workers or to Indian outsourcing firms. For Newspeed Social Center Bureau in Hyderabad, I am Nita Manohar. With a workable guest worker policy and sensible expansion of the H-1B visa program, we've enforced the rule of law by making it more difficult for employers to hire people who've come here illegally. Yes, they broke the law, but it's not a felony. It's kind of the it's it's a it's a it's a it's an act of love. It's an act. Too many. I think NAFTA has been a total disaster. Uh, not too many. Not maybe. Not, maybe none. Look, Ford's building. I told you, Ford's building a plant in Mexico. Okay. What good does that do? What good does it do? They're hiring thousands of people, all Mexican, which is fine for Mexico. No, because we don't get anything. We never get anything. What do we get out of it? 